is up everybody welcome back to another video in this video i'm doing my own power re stop i'm doing my own power rankings look i've usually done reactions to them i did it early in the season you know the lions were, were doing well and we were top five we're like oh let's go you know now they're terrible and i don't even want to react to them but i was like you know what let's fix it up what if i made my own i see a lot of other people doing it i was like that'd be kind of fun get my own thoughts out there on all 32 teams get my power rankings Who knows? This could be a little bit of fun. I would like to know your thoughts, comments below on your power rankings. Okay, you can even list all 32 if you want. I'm going to go through all 32, at least for this one. If you guys want to see me just do 10, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm going to try to keep it very short and sweet with each single team I put on here. Let's get it started. Should we start at the bottom or the top? I'm going to start at the top. I think I'm going to start one and go down because if I start at 32, it's bigger numbers. Starting off at number one, the highest team, the team that is leading my power rankings, my personal power rankings right now, is the Baltimore Ravens. They look like a Super Bowl contender to me. Baltimore Ravens have been uh, just demolishing teams. They've been on a roll. They have Justin Tuck. I mean, they, they they have it all. Lamar Jackson looks like an MVP candidate. They're just balling, okay? They're number one. Number two, then, second in my power rankings is the Seattle Seahawks. They could potentially be the best team in the NFC, and they have Russell Wilson. And in what comes playoff time, I will believe in Russell Wilson over a lot of other quarterbacks like the team that comes in at number three, that is the San Francisco 49ers. So yes, very good team. Great defense, can run the football, but, and they have George Kittle, but I take Russell Wilson over Jimmy Garoppolo. And the Seahawks just beat him, but they, they competed like heck. It was a great game, and they come in at number three. So now into the top, well, I guess we're already in the top three. Now at number four, we have the Saints. The Saints have been very good. They're not blowing anybody out recently. They've, they've been a little bit Kind of ugly wins, I guess you would say, in November. But they're winning, and that's what it really matters. They come in at number four. To round off the top five, coming in at number five, I have the Houston Texans. Yes, kind of high, but they have back-to-back -back wins. They have a win versus the Patriots. They're coming off a loss 41-7 to to the Ravens. That's more reason the Ravens should be number one. Then coming in at number six, I have the New England Patriots. Brady, Belichick, not worried. They're not the best team, though, right now, at least when it comes to power rankings. They are still 10-2. and two. Coming off a loss to the Texans, still a heck of a team. I think in the playoffs, they could still win the Super Bowl. I wouldn't be surprised, but they're coming in at six for now. Next up, number seven, we're going to skip this one. Next up, number eight. No, I'm kidding. It's the Packers. I don't I don't like the Packers, y'all. Look, they had an easy bounce back game, okay? I, they don't even need, deserve to be this. I don't even want to put them this high. They had an easy bounce back win because they played a bad team, all right? They came off of a 37-8 to eight loss to the 49ers. Some of them teams at the top are scary good. They come in at number seven. Now, number eight, shout out to the Buffalo Bills, man. He's on my thumbnail, Josh Allen. Beat the Cowboys. I love it. Y'all deserve number eight for that. You come in at number eight. Next up, coming in at number nine, I have the Kansas City Chiefs. They have won three of the last four, and they put 40 up versus the Raiders. 40 to nine in their last game. A little bit of defensive help, but they're back in the playoff mix. Next up, coming in at number 10, to finish off the top 10, I have the Minnesota Vikings. Ugh, man, I'm so sick of all these NFC North teams. So the Vikings are up here. Crazy one in a football game. They lost, but when I thought it was over, they found a way to fight back. It was a weird way, but they lost by four. They're still a good team. We'll see if they can get in. Next up, coming in, number 11 now, outside of the top 10. Just outside of the top 10, we have the Tennessee Titans. Okay, now the Titans have been great recently. They have won three straight games. They have really turned it on with Ryan Tannehill, so it's very interesting to see. Next up, number 12. This is kind of hard because right here, I feel like there's kind of a significant drop-off from good, great teams to 12. <laughs> like, right here, I have the Steelers. The Steelers are not a great team. I believe they're on their third string quarterback. They're not a great team, but they beat the Browns. They're seven and five. They look like they can get a wild card. They seem to be the second best team in the AFC North, which definitely helps them out. We'll see what happens. Next up, number 13, we have the Rams. The Rams had an easy win over the cards, so I'm not even gonna get hyped about that one. They also lost to the Ravens 45 to six. The Ravens are a problem, y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Next up, number 14, we have the Chicago Bears. Chicago Bears have won three of their last four. But those three games have been the Lions twice and the Giants once. And they lost to the Rams. So, uh, yeah, let's not get it too hyped there. But at least they fought back, you know. Coming in at number 15, they took advantage. Coming 15, I have the Colts. Now, the Colts, they're hanging tough. I mean, they're losing, but they're fighting. I mean, Look, right here, there's not a lot of good teams left, okay? They're just kind of like average teams. So, I had to put them up there. Next up, number 16, we have the Raiders. The Raiders, who are second in the AFC West and have gotten pounded by the Kansas City Chiefs by 31 points. Okay, we'll see what they can do. Next up, 17, Buccaneers. Back-to-back -back wins for the Buccaneers. There you go. That's good. 18, the Cowboys. Yeah, 18, Cowboys. Hold that L. 
Sorry, I don't like the Cowboys. I don't like America's team. They're not my team. Heck no. Next up, 19 Eagles. They have three straight losses. And one of them's to the Dolphins. Tough. Next up, Browns. They just lost to the Steelers and possibly their playoff hopes. And Freddie Kitchens is on the hot seat. Ooh. Not sure what's going on there. Next up, 21 Panthers. They just fired their head coach. I mean, you could put them lower. They just fired their head coach. They're basically giving, giving them another season. They're 5-7 as well. Next up, 22 Chargers. What happened to the Chargers? They're 4-8. and eight. What has happened to the Chargers this season? I don't get it. Broncos, 23. They're the Broncos. I mean, there's not a lot to say there. 24 Dolphins. The Dolphins, they're, they're winning football games. I'm not sure why. They should be trying to get higher picks, but it's okay. I mean, hey, they're fighting. They're winning football games, kind of. 24. Next up, 25. Redskins. Look, I'm giving credit to the Dolphins and Redskins. Are they bad teams? Yes. But are they at least fighting and winning a couple ones? Yeah, they're stealing games. The Dolphins beat the Eagles. Shout out to them. The Redskins stealing games. They beat us. So dang. They're above us. 25. Next up, 26. The Falcons. The biggest disappointment? Maybe? I don't know. This has been bad. It's tough. Next up, 20. Ours has been worse. Next up, 27. The Jaguars. This team was in the AFC Championship a few years ago. Oh, wow. Next up, 28, the Jets. The Jets, they got it going, right? No, I'm not sure what the Jets are doing. But you know who I really don't know what they're doing? The Lions, 29. We have lost eight of our last nine. We start off two on one. We are now three, eight, and one. Okay. Not good. I can see us finishing three, 12, and one easily. Next up, number 30, the Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals, they, they tied us, so... Uh, they're also 3-8-1. Next up, the Bengals. Yes, the Bengals are at last. Y'all are at 31st. You know why? Because you won a game. And the Giants, they've won eight straight. They've lost eight straight. Excuse me. Wow, they won eight straight. I am messing up these rankings. They won eight, They lost eight straight. Bengals got to win. Shout out to y'all. That's it. Those are my power rankings. Let me hear your thoughts. Let me hear your power rankings. Comments below. If you guys want to see more of these, let me know. Thank you, Brad, for watching. And I'm out.